of Ball is Life, it's your girl Kiki. Today we are kicking it with Evan Mobley and his teammates. We have some fun stuff coming up. We got ping pong, dancing, some FIFA tournaments coming on. We are in for a fun filled day. So come with me as Evan introduces us into his house. What's, What's up? up? It's the Evan Mobley. How you doing? You're doing good. Look at y'all, Ball is Life, Evan Mobley here. Seven we foot. Number one player in the country. We have to have some fun today. Yep. Want to show us around your house? Yep. We got a little game room right here. Uh, USC everywhere. Uh, this is Bryson right here. My guy. One got of our squad teammates. in the building. Uh, Jaden Byers, Dominic Harris, and then Johnny Lou, <laughs> my foreign exchange student. All right, Committed. tell us a little bit about what's hanging on this wall. Um, this, this was from the Jordan brand classic uh, thing. They just had another one recently, but I couldn't play in it because I had a game. But it was I just some pictures. Did when did you start taking basketball seriously? Probably like in middle school, uh, sixth and seventh grade, I took it kind of serious. I knew I wanted to play basketball in like high school and college. They were babies pretty much, two years old, three years old. I would challenge them, you know, by saying, hey, uh, I bet you can say your ABCs and drill the ball with your left hand about 50 times. And they were like, yeah, I can do it, Dad. I said, no, you can't, give me the ball. And you know, I would take it from them and they would take it back from them. No, you can't do it, give me the ball, you know. And they'd be over there, A, B, C, D. You know, Eric would always do like little competitions with the boys and they didn't really, really realize that they were working on their skills. So they were getting better, but you know, that competitive nature. I would have to say middle school is when they both kind of were like, Hmm, you know. So that's when I started locking in and taking it really serious. And then over here, this is from homecoming uh, last year, I'm pretty sure. Uh -huh. This is Isaiah, Johnny, me, and then the team right here. Oh, y'all are so, I can't. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And then we can go upstairs. Right here, this is oh. Isaiah, this is me. Look at little Ev. Look at yeah. them pearly whites. <laughs> Y'all look alike. Yeah. Okay. When they were little, man, um, Evan was, you know, a little bit smaller, a little small in size, um, in terms of weight wise. And Isaiah would just take advantage of him and, and Evan would get pissed off and push him from a behind or whatever. I had to go outside and I would sometimes just let him play. Uh -huh. So you can, you know, kind of problem solve it out a little bit. Uh, when we were little, it got like pretty heated sometimes. Like sometimes we wouldn't even want to play because we already know it was going to get heated. So like we would just like start playing and it'll get gradually heated and more heated and then like someone would have to like probably step in and like calm us down because it would get really heated. Isaiah got the best of all those matches back in those days, but if they played now, I don't know, it'd be, it'd be tough to say who who win. So and different awards and stuff that we got. It's a little trophy wall. What's yeah. going on here? Oh, hold up. Wait a minute. We got a ball is life. Yeah, I got okay, MVP. Okay. You got MVP? Yeah. No surprise. So tell us, tell us a little bit what, what's going on uh, on the shelf. This is the final four ticket we got with when I went with USA. Mm -hmm. uh, this is my gold medal. I won with USA last year. And then this is the one I wore like two years ago, uh, the gold medal. And then I got some chess awards. I was, I was pretty good at chess. I was just about to ask that you play chess? Yeah. You still play? Yeah, I can still play. So what, what award means the most to you? Um, Probably the gold medal right here. That you just got? Yeah. How was that experience? It was a great experience. I got to go to Greece. Uh, like look at the European vibes and like, it was a great experience. Uh, we went to the beach. The beach was really fun. Uh, it's different than out here. The water is much warmer. Mm -hmm. So that was a good experience. I didn't really get to play, but um, it's just representing the country and being on the team was a good, uh, good thing for me. Just my room, a whole bunch of shoes. I got more shoes in the closet. This is ridiculous. Y'all gotta get this. Hold on. This is ridiculous. Look how many shoes you have. Yeah. Roughly, if you could take a guess, how many shoes do you have? Like 70. 
I'm not sure. He even has more in his closet. More up here, down here, and it's on the other side too. Adidas game. Yeah. That's a, you've been with Compton Magic. They've been Adidas, yeah. so okay. Been with Compton Magic like my whole life, so. Okay, so AAU Compton Magic, you've been playing with them since sixth grade, yeah. I believe. Tell them, tell us how they helped develop your game. Um, they just gave me a lot of exposure. Uh, every tournament we go in, they had like some college coaches there, but they just gave me a lot of competition to play against and like, they just gave me the right platform to go off of. Um, in today's day and age, you know, kids play with all these different teams, right? They jump on teams at left and right, they're playing with a different team every weekend. Um, you know, Evan, Johnny, Onyeka, Isaiah have never put another jersey on in their life other than ours. So even those weekends that they were off, even those weekends that they were doing stuff, people were doing stuff and we weren't playing, yeah. they've never worn another jersey. High school or AAU, that's unheard of. That tells you all you need to know about the parents and the kids, their character and their loyalty. And those are things that the guys in the NBA can understand as far as, you know, if you're not the super superstar, they want the yeah. kids to have the high character. These are just some of my favorite shoes. I'm probably gonna pull these out in season. New Hardens. Uh, I, like, oh, I just like the tough. white. Yeah. yeah, I'm like the all white. It's yeah. Something different. And I used to wear these. These are McDonald's ones. I got. Uh, like USC yeah. Okay. Red and gold. And then the Yeezys I got from uh, Eight Top as well. Oh, all right. Yeah. Anything Yeezy advice though. Yeah. First of all, what wait? What size like shoe do you wear? Sixteen. Oh. Yeah. So it's hard to I find shoes it. that are like. <laughs> Yeah. This was like two of mine. What the heck? <laughs> I can't. When did you get this? Um, my grandma made it for me. Like all oh, those really? posters downstairs, she just like we send her pictures or whatever, and she just makes us like. That's her thing. Yeah, she still got part of the tag in it because she got off Instagram, I guess. <laughs> and then she didn't take the tag off. That ain't no. <laughs> that ain't no about you. You, yeah. gotta, you gotta click one more time to take it off. <laughs> it's what? so cute. Smoke seven. Yeah. Okay. All right. Should I go easy or hard? What? Do what you want. Oh wow. Okay. Just do whatever you want to do. I'll go light real quick. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's okay. Are you ready for the oh, speed? I'm ready. I'm ready. I'm ready. Oh. Oh. <laughs> That's what's not fair. <laughs> All right. Most embarrassing moment. Um. I don't know. Everybody has an embarrassing moment. That's my point. That's my point. <laughs> I don't really have an embarrassing moment. Not one. Nah. You ain't get like dunked on, crossed over. Oh uh, yeah, I've, I've got. Everyone. Somebody you like. Everyone gets dunked on before, but. No, there's like getting dunked on and then they're being posterized. I never got posterized, but like, I've been like like blocking it and then like he would just go through it and like finish but it wasn't like crazy. Yeah. It wasn't like a ooh. Yeah. Yeah. Instagram or Twitter? Or Snapchat? It'll go Snapchat, then Instagram, then Twitter for me. Uh-huh. Okay. Okay, celebrity crush. Um probably Beyonce. I would have to say. You said Beyonce? Yeah, Beyonce or Zendaya. Oh yeah. Fire. Oh. Yeah. Um, so a lot of people don't know that I can dance. A lot of people don't know that I can dance. I can dance, 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 dance.
don't know, I just always like music. Uh, I used to dance a lot when I was younger. Um, and then like this new era of music came out with like a lot of bass and like hitting the wall and all that. And then like all my friends do it and like it's just fun. We just hype each other up. What's yeah. between you and your friends? Who do you think was the best? Uh, I don't know. You gotta ask them. <laughs> you gotta ask them. Okay. Hey. 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 He's definitely from both of us. Yeah, yeah. for sure. Yeah. Hey, okay. <laughs> so, like, the one thing that, like, I, I try to stress on Evan to move forward with this game is, is Evan is so, such a perfectionist that the reason he shot 80% from the field in the gauntlet, which is unheard of, is he doesn't like to make any mistakes, right? Now the evolution of his game is gonna be when he starts to try to make mistakes. Cause yeah. it, and he's starting to do that now. With the older guys gone, starting to really expand on some of the things. He's got to make mistakes to get better, right? Because his junior year didn't make any mistakes. The reason he's number one, he makes he makes no mistakes. Do you think ranking matters? I don't think it matters. I think it's a way for kids to kind of gauge, you know, okay, what are people saying? So then you gotta kind of look at it and take that information and work with it, but ultimately not matter. You are who you are, you can do what you can do. Um, I don't think it really matters. If you're good, you're good. They're gonna find you. Um, they always want the best, so if like you think you're good and they like they don't rank you high or whatever, but a college coach can see you and like know that you really have game, so you just gotta be your best every day. Being number one doesn't mean that there's not more to grow. So I think that instilling that in him and everybody around him, our, our family, our focus is, how do we grow as a person? It's a life, we're lifelong learners. So mm -hmm. if you're always learning, you're always growing, there's always something that you have to get better. So I think that's the main thing that helps him to stay grounded and focused. And then also, you know, we, we did chores. We do chores here, you know, in our household. They wash dishes. And still today, he's the number one player in the country. He's gonna wash them, sit there doing dishes. He's gonna, he's gonna go outside and mow the lawn, just like any other kid. Um, I just try to have a good supporting cast, uh, just stay humble. Um, my coach always tells me just to just keep getting better, because if you just focus on that, you just keep rising up. And obviously, that's doing a good thing for me yeah. right now. I really want to win a state championship and a CIF championship. Um, those are probably my two biggest accomplishments that I want to uh, win. This is last season, man. I, I just pray that they're able to uh, win an, uh, a championship, CIF championship. I'm excited for him. I, mean, I think it's going to be a crazy year for him. I think he's going to really go out and show people that I'm the best prospect in the world. I believe he's the best prospect in the world. I'm saying that on camera. Sky's the limit for Evan. Um, he has um, ability to be so great um, with the talent level and his size and measurements. Um, you know, um, I pray that he does well um, and continue to do well and be humble as he uh, achieve all these goals. Um, I just try to stay focused, uh, live in the moment. Uh, don't worry about future or past. Uh, just be in the present. Um, 
just yeah, just focus on the game. I don't have a, a lid. I don't see. I'm I'm just going along for the ride because he's taken us so many different places and so many different things. So I don't have a um, an expectation. I mean, I know he has his goal, so I know um, they want to win a state championship and. Um, I'm along for the ride. Wherever he's going is where I'm going to be. Thanks for spending the day with me. Shout out Ball is Life.